it's hammer time. I just had to say it. Um, well, the cold weather is over, so I'm getting back to uh, wood turning. I tried uh, drying some wood to make a hammer, but uh, well, that failed. If I uh, learned one thing, is that uh, you can't hurry wood drying. It just splits every time. So I just gonna try turning a hammer wet. And I don't mind if it's a total failure. It's good to have uh, the experience. So uh, what I have here are two pieces of oak. The fig one is uh, normal oak, I would call it. The other one, the longer piece, is uh, American oak. It's uh, a softer wood. It's a faster growing tree. Damn it! I really need a better spindle gouge. <laughs> this one really sucks. Almost brand new. Almost. Here we go again. Oops. I'm going to sharpen my uh, chisel. The uh, drive sander moved, so now, uh, well, I guess my hammer head will be a little smaller. smaller. Major piece of crap. Does uh, wood chip really mess up the workspace? <laughs> Not bad. Hmm. It's not completely flat at this end, so I just make the hammerhead out of this end. So, what would be a good Handle to hammer head ratio, something like this, maybe. I don't know. Um, just gonna try something. I was planning to drill the hole freehand, but uh, that would probably be not a good idea, so I took it out of the lathe and moved to the uh, cheap drill press. And this is the setup I came up with. And uh, this is gonna be between those lines, that's gonna be the hammerhead. I wish I had a clamp big enough to hold it down on the on the drill press, but I don't so here goes nothing. I'm 
material to drill. Yeah. I maxed out the quill. No more travel. I got a block of wood underneath the workpiece. I will probably need another one because I only have uh, five centimeters travel on this drill press. Never thought that uh, drilling a hole in wood could be so difficult. still burning. I'm almost there. Yeah, I'm through. That was more like grinding a hole instead of drilling. Yeah, oh, look at that. That's poor. It's actually not a bad hole. I've seen worse. I think it is offset a bit to the right. Unfortunately, the uh, the work is too big to fit under my uh, electric uh, chop saw, so. I gotta do it manually, which isn't the preferred way. Ask any guy. I am uh, rotating the work, that way the uh, cutoff will be uh, uh, at a uh, straight angle. With the uh, head done, it's time to start working on the handle. So now comes the hard part, designing a fitting handle. I tried to make a handle before, but that was a total failure. Um, well, I guess I'm going to start with uh, turning it down to 30 millimeters. This thing is starting to bend on me. I also have a lot of chatter. No need to make it any prettier. I uh, microwaved the handle a bit. It got a bit more crooked. But at least it should fit now. Maybe add some lube. Cutting fluid. A 
I seem to have got it stuck. Ah, the smell of cutting fluid. Too big, too heavy. Well, I can always make another one. <laughs> 